This is ANN News Brief. South Africa has introduced a bill in the parliament to create a national health service for the country. It is aimed that the service will be paid for through taxes, including an increase in income tax. Some people have predicted that the bill is likely to be passed into law because the country's trade union movement was putting pressure on the ruling party, ANC, for it to happen. Trade unions in South Africa are extremely powerful and supporters say unions can literally bring the country to a standstill if their demands are not met. Meanwhile, there has been opposition to the proposals. Zimbabwe President Timasi Nagagwa has sacked Tourism Minister Priska Mufmira for what the government calls inappropriate conduct for a Minister of Government. Mufmira was arrested over the disappearance of millions of dollars, about $94 million, they say, from the country's pension fund. Anti-Corruption Commission in Zimbabwe alleges the money went missing during her time as Minister of Labor and Social Welfare. She denied the allegations of misuse of the said amount from the state's National Social Security Authority after being charged. For years, there have been accusations that officials in the country have enriched themselves through the Social Security scheme while giving very little to pensioners. Mufura, who was sacked as social welfare minister during Robert Mugabe regime, was reappointed by President Nagagwa to the tourism ministry. She is the first serving minister of Nagagwa's government to be arrested. Stay with us to return after this break. We are on the road every day, canvassing throughout Africa for news you really need. We follow this story everywhere from every corner of Nigeria to the wide African expanse. We bring you what's making headlines. We connect you with news you can use. ANN, African News Network, in a truly African spirit. Togo's members of parliament have passed a law that will further put restrictions on protests after a wave of opposition rallies. The government says the law is to make the country safer. Under the new law, no demonstrations will be allowed on main roads, in city centers or near government buildings and are time-bound. Time the opposition says it is, as a, is, an, is an effort to stifle growing dissent because one family has been ruling the country since 1967. A tweet constitution allows President Fari Nasinge to stay on until 2030. By then, the Gazinga family would have been in charge for 63 years. That's NN News Brief. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I am Lucy Ademi. <laughs>